the fact that it's a country with a lot of natural resources and a very low density of population make it very unique if you compare it with the neighbor. Laos has water, soil, uh, forest, uh, minerals that are extremely needed by mainly the big neighbors who have their own industrialization process. So this is what allows Laos to have more than 8% economic growth for the moment. It doesn't mean that it's automatically generating a better income for the local people who are living nearby those, those resources. And for the moment what we observe is that more than integrating, they've been sometimes excluded from the process and people have been losing their, their access to those natural resources that were making them able to, to survive. Urban poverty, I think it's maybe something new or not easy to define, mainly because there is not a big attraction to the city, because there is no industry that are attracting people from the countryside, and probably because, again, the city had still enough space to grow, there is still a way to accommodate the people who are coming. But this, can, this may, may change. Cities and people living in the city are still very much linked with the countryside. You have, of course, rice fields inside Vientiane, but you have also uh, people who receive the rice that they will eat every day from their family who stayed in the, in the countryside or from the land that they've maintained. So I think this, this close link is what uh, maybe make it a bit more sustainable for the moment. But this is what he's been losing too, because uh, people, some families are quitting the countryside. So probably the long-term perspective is clearly basic education, but also more and more uh, vocational training, technical schools, not only university, but good technician in different levels that is linked with the type of industry that is going also on in, in the countryside.